This is Oklahoma's own News on 6. First, here at 12.30, there's been a dramatic shift in the laws on abortion affecting millions of women. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Autumn Bracey. In North Carolina, abortion rights supporters protested last night's vote by Republican lawmakers to override the governor's veto and establish a 12-week limit on abortions, joining other Republican-controlled states in reducing abortion access. Caitlin Huey Burns has the latest from Raleigh. And the bill becomes law. At North Carolina State Capitol in Raleigh Tuesday night, Republicans overruled the Democratic governor and pushed through new abortion restrictions. Under the new law, which goes into effect July 1st, most abortions will be banned after 12 weeks of pregnancy, a reduction from 20 weeks under the previous law. The veto stamp has been applied. Just three days earlier, North Carolina's Democratic Governor Roy Cooper rejected the bill. It will make abortion unavailable to many women. But his power is limited. Last month, a Democratic state representative from the liberal-leaning Charlotte area switched parties just five months after elections. I will not be controlled by anyone. The change gave Republicans a supermajority and the power to override vetoes from Governor Cooper. Is there anything that you can do unilaterally on the issue of abortion? We will never stop fighting to protect women's health. The White House protested late Tuesday night, saying women have been left with no choice but to travel hundreds of miles for the care they need. We just helped a patient from Alabama. We went to a clinic in Raleigh last October that was already seeing a surge in out-of-state patients. They drove a 10 and a half hour trip to make sure they were at the clinic at 9 o'clock that morning. 10 and a half hours mm -hmm. each way. Caitlin Huey Burns, CBS News, Raleigh, North Carolina.